Hello, hello. Welcome to Top Shelf Backpacking. Today, we're taking a look at my Dyneema Arc Blast from z -Packs. Before we get into this, please subscribe, hit that bell notification if you're into backpacking, hiking, and all things outdoors. This has been my go-to pack since I picked it up in 2018. It's Dyneema fabric, is very water resistant, never had any issues with water getting inside of it, and it has some fantastic features. Starting at the bottom here, got two nice loops. This allows me to carry a chair or a closed cell foam pad or any kind of gear I want to keep on the outside of the bag. It has a nice mesh pocket, good enough for fitting Crocs. Usually I'll have my water filter, my poop kit, first aid kit, things I need immediate access to, rain gear, in this pocket here. It uses a roll top closure, which allows you to either compact down or get it nice and big. This one can carry up to 55 liters, although the new bags made out of ultra material have various liter sizes. I want to say they start at 40 and go up to like 65. Each side has a water bottle pocket. You can fit two smart water bottles in there or trekking poles and an umbrella like me. The only durability issue I've had in the five years and hundreds of miles I've had it is I did pull the elastic out of this side. Although usually I stuff it so full, usually that's where the whiskey lives. That, not a big issue. Current configuration on this guy, I have the Chicken Tramper Ultralight Gear cell phone holder, with the exterior pouch for trash, and on the other side, I have the Outdoor Evolution water bottle holder that does vary as to brand. Sometimes it's Waymark, sometimes it's just an ultralight, but we're trying this one out now. And I don't run any hip belt pockets because usually I have a fanny pack. With that configuration all in, it weighs 24 ounces. The new ultra material is right in there as far as the weights go. You can also add hip belt pockets or upper pouches. On longer trips, I'll run an upper one up here to keep my cook kit in. That way it doesn't take up a bunch of room in my food bag if I've got like a five day carry. Really nice option to have there. What makes this an arc is this one has adjustable tension back here. So this mesh sits against your back and gives you really nice breathability. The newer bags made out of Ultra, that's the Arc Hall. Those guys have a carbon fiber stay so it's already preloaded for you. You don't have to tension it like you do on this older style. The only downside, in my opinion, is it's $450 price tag, plus pockets if you want to add to them. But because of its durability, lightweight, and its ability to keep the water out, my rating is still buy it. If it's something you plan on using more than just occasionally, I think it's well worth the investment. For more information on the Arc Glass backpack and other items you've seen on this channel, visit topshelfbackpacking.com. And until I see you again, cheers.